Good afternoon. Welcome to the Big Data Characteristics. Let's look at why Big Data matters. Big Data matters because 50% of the applications today are driven by analytics and they're now available on the cloud. Okay, and analytics and the application of advanced computing techniques are a game changer today. Why are the game changer today? Because most of your applications today have moved onto the mobile. So there is, if you look at the ratio between what's available on the mobile versus what's available on the PC, it's about four is to one. And as a result of which, there's a lot of devices that are generating information and there's a lot of analytics that's happening within the devices. For example, you know, if you're using an iPhone or a, or a, a Google phone, there's a lot of actions that are going inside the phone, which is generating so much data. And that's giving you a lot of information about the way it things are happening uh, for yourself. And therefore, as a result of it, the, the, the computing power and the delivery of uh, uh, computing has increased tremendously. And it's a result of IT consumerization, like for example, the cloud technologies like that. And this is resulting in enterprise IT and business strategies to be uh, driven by usage patterns, multiple device platforms, the way they use, and so on and so forth. And what's what's driving this? There are three fundamental uh, technologies uh, that are you know driving this. So if you look at that, if you go to the uh, uh, the technologies, the first one is Internet of Things. This is what I mean by Internet of Things is uh, all the devices that we're using today. We're using mobile phones, uh, we're using air conditioner remote controls, we're using TV remote controls, we're using set-top boxes, uh, we're using Fitbits, we're using health applications. All of them are generating information and they're talking to each other and generating information about the way you're using uh, uh, the devices. Now, the, the good part of it or the interesting part of this is all of this you can interact as a natural user. Now, a lot of people are using Siri, for example, on an iPhone. Uh, so there is a natural user interaction with the devices and while using the natural ways of interacting, you're generating data. Uh, this data is then of course may, being made available to those devices, it's being made available to the interfaces to the devices, it's being made available to various uh, other uh, mechanisms and they've been done very naturally. I mean, you, don't, you don't have to really generate code and all of that stuff. Uh, and while doing this, you're actually creating real-time predictive analysis or analytics about uh, the way you will behave in, in the context of uh, using these devices. 